Welcome to the pilot edition of our Channel 10 report, part of a BCTV 545 Live special. We'll sum up all the government municipal happenings here in town. We'll uh, get right underway today and take a look in Brattleboro. As this week's Channel 10 report uh, starts uh, right here in this fair town where a wealth of construction plans are the story this summer. With the much debated I-91 bridge rebuild taking center stage, it's easy to forget about the brattleboro Hinsdale bridges, which after being dubbed structurally obsolete, but not unsafe, have prompted designers to approve plans for a new single-span bridge, something that received mixed reviews at an open forum last week hosted by VTrans, the New Hampshire Department of Transportation, and the Federal Highway Administration. Uh, an open forum that just so happens to be uh, where we'll start the clips off today. We looked at rehabbing the bridges on the existing alignment, replacing the bridges on the existing alignment, and then six other alternatives of various different geometry and tweaking of the bridges to come up with the preferred alternative, which is a single span bridge just slightly south of uh, the existing bridges. We'll have more on that project in weeks to come. And yes, more on the I-91 bridge as well. We're thinking there's an in-depth special not too far off in the 545 Live Wings. But for now, we'll move on in our Channel 10 report forward with more of the townwide project stratosphere here in Brattleboro, including the downtown sidewalk upgrade project, which warranted not one but two info sessions for the public this summer so far, with the project's uh, design firm also taking their opportunity in front of the lens to present their work. The sidewalk extends from the Gilbert Memorial Bridge up to Walnut Street. The sidewalk's going to be replaced in the same elevation, same width. Not the entire sidewalk's going to be replaced. It's only going to be the older portions of sidewalk. Moving on, for those of you wondering where last night's Brattleboro Select Board is uh, in the clip, we have not forgotten it. We'll have not one but two specials extending from last night's BCTV coverage, starting with interim town manager Patrick Moreland's debut meeting. And while Moreland has spent uh, more than a few Tuesday nights in attendance during his time as assistant to departing town manager Barb Sondag, he did take the opportunity last night to say a few words. I think identifying the sorts of jobs that are going to be used, we're going to be hiring and identifying what's out there. That full select board meeting from Tuesday night can already be found online at brattlebrotv.org or in the links below if you're watching this online. And we'll show all this week and next on BCTV Channel 10. So you can stay attuned to the municipal inner workings of this here fair town, including the board's decision to greenlight nearly 34 grand in funds to help get the Nelson Withington skating rink operational in time for the fall season. It's a band-aid measure, and that's what we um, that's what we decided as a board. Maybe a bit of history would be appropriate. You know, we obviously have the farmland preservation committee that's set up um, with the ex intent, the charter that's been given us. Um, on the committee when farmland becomes available or to purchase the development rights of farmland that um, may be available whether the land is for sale or not. And with that we've moved out of Brattleboro now into one of BCTV's seven surrounding towns this time heading south to Vernon where uh, that pitch you just heard to the Assembly of Monday special town meeting from Farmland Protection Committee Chair Art Miller uh, to use a hundred grand of the committee's funds to purchase the development rights to uh, Vernon resident Annette Royden's 58-acre property fell short as the town residents voted 45 to 24 not to make the deal, despite vocal support uh, at the meeting for the project, leaving Royden to cross her fingers and hope the property's new owners choose not to develop it. We have the assessment that was done by the listers for the fair market value of this land. Um, We've chosen the number, uh, half the number, which is what has been done historically and what is done in other towns all around the state of Vermont. So we have the information we need to take the vote and we're going to stand with that. Thank you. Closing in on the end of our pilot edition of our uh, BCTV Channel 10 report. More meetings this week include Monday's regularly scheduled select board meeting in Townsend. We've also got a Demerston meeting from Wednesday night got two camera coverage it'll show uh, later this week on BCTV Channel 10 as well. All these meetings can be viewed in their entirety so you can get the full story, the full picture at brattlebrotv.org. There's our Channel 10 report. Thanks for checking in. We'll be back next week with another one of these released early in the week and you'll see it as part of 545 Live's live broadcast 545 p.m. right here on BCTV. Thanks.